There's a lot in this shopping basket. I'm pretty hungry right now, so I'm gonna go make something. See you guys! Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to watch more. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here, and you're all invited to my awesome ice cream party! We're gonna be doing this just like home ice cream kit. Look at all the ice cream this comes with! Here's the back of the box. Oh, it has the cake and the pizza that I've done in previous videos. You guys should definitely check it out. All right, let's get all this ice cream out of there before it melts. And then we'll just flip this around. Mmm, a milkshake. Whoops, I'm messing up the sundae a little bit. Let's get all these ice cream cones out of there. Mmm, toppings. Now that we've gotten everything out of the plastic, I can show you each piece. Here's our ice cream scooper. Here's two spoons. A milkshake cup. With a straw. Here's another one. Here's our first banana split. And here are the bananas. They stick together like this. Here's our second banana split. We can put all different types of ice cream. Oh, here's a topping. We'll put it there. Mmm, sprinkles! Here's our first ice cream cone. It looks like it could be coffee flavor but you can change it by unscrewing it like this. This blue one must be blueberry. And of course, chocolate. And one of my favorites, strawberry. Here's another chocolate scoop. Mint chocolate chip. Strawberry. And vanilla. Here's some whipped cream, and what looks like a blueberry. This one has a cherry on top. Ew, some caramel. And some hot fudge. Let's make a banana split first. I want mine with chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, like a Neapolitan. And for my chocolate, I want some caramel on top. Mmm, and some fudge on the vanilla. Yum, that looks good. But I think it's still missing a little something. Some whipped cream and a cherry on top. And it wouldn't be a banana split without the split bananas. And you guys know I love sprinkles. Do you guys like sprinkles on your ice cream? All right, I think that's enough sprinkles. Let's move on to our second one. Let's make this one with some mint chocolate chip, a little bit of coffee, and some more mint chocolate chip. We'll put some strawberry syrup on this one, and then whipped cream and blueberries on the side. We'll add our bananas. Mmm. This one looks delicious, but it would taste even better with some sprinkles. Now let's make an ice cream cone. 
We'll go classic with some chocolate. And for our topping, caramel. For our second one, we'll do some strawberry. And we'll top it off with some whipped cream and a cherry on top. And sprinkles! And for our third one, we'll do some blueberry ice cream. I've actually never had blueberry ice cream before. So let's make it a double! Mmm, looks pretty tasty. We're gonna need something to wash it down with. I'll make us a milkshake. We'll start off with some vanilla ice cream, chocolate, and more vanilla. Blend that together and then add the topping. And for our second one, we'll make a mocha flavor with some coffee, chocolate, and vanilla and top it off with some fudge. Here's everything we made today. I hope you guys enjoy. This set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And today I'm bringing you another Just Like Home playing kit. We're going to be cutting some fruit. And here's the back of the box. I just love these playing kits. In this one, we're going to slice and play. I can't wait to get started! We'll just take this plastic off. There we go. And then we're gonna take off this plastic covering. Got it. Yum, and here's all of our fruit. Do you guys know what each of these fruits are called? If you don't, don't worry, I'll teach you. And here's our knife. What's cool about the set is the box is actually a reusable crate. We can store our fruit in there after. All right, so our first fruit is grapes. These are purple grapes. Grapes are a great snack. And in the summer, if you put them in the freezer, they're delicious and they'll cool you down on a hot day. The next one is an orange. Oranges are a great source of vitamin C. You can either eat them or squeeze them to make some delicious orange juice. I like them both ways. And here's a plum. They're also a great snack. They're kind of tart though. So if you don't like sour stuff, you might want to pick a different snack. Our next fruit is a banana. Bananas are a great source of potassium. I love bananas in smoothies. Normally I peel my bananas, but I guess we're gonna cut this one. Yum! Our next one's a peach. Peaches are one of my favorite fruits. They're really sweet and delicious. Not to mention healthy. Yummy! A strawberry! Isn't it cool that strawberry seeds are actually on the outside? Unlike other fruits that have their seeds inside. Here's a pear. You can tell by its shape. It's small at the top and then bigger at the bottom.
Next we have an apple. You know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Apples are great with peanut butter or even some caramel. Hmm, <laughs> I'm getting a little hungry. Our next item is a lemon. On those hot summer days, how many of you guys have made lemonade? We just give it a little squeeze like this. Hmm, looks like this one doesn't have much juice in it. <laughs> oh well. Let's try this lime. You can tell lime and lemons apart because one is green and one is yellow. But limes also can make great drinks. Just like lemons make lemonade, limes make limeade. Let's see if this one has any juice. Mmm, nope, bone dry. So let's do a little recap. First we have our pear, strawberry, a plum, a peach, an orange, a banana, some grapes, a juicy red apple, a lime, a lemon, and here's our knife. Well, this set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here. And today I'm super excited to do a learning activity with you guys. We're going to be using this microwave. Let's open it up. And put this cream colored Play-Doh inside. Let's see what it turns into. Ooh, a mushroom. Mushrooms are a great source of protein. Did you know a lot of vegetarians who don't eat meat will eat mushrooms to get their protein? Now let's put some purple Play-Doh inside. I wonder what it's going to turn into. In the pan as well. There's our first one. Mmm. What should we put on this bread? Butter? Jam? Let's also make some cereal. Cereal's great for breakfast because it's so easy. And I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but putting some fruit in your cereal is both healthy and delicious. Or you can just have fruit on the side. Here's an orange. I'm gonna cut my orange in half. Mmm. And here's a banana. And time for our apple. Two perfect halves. Oh, this fruit plate looks so good. Okay, let's serve up our breakfast. Here's our pancakes and bacon, our eggs, our toast, our fruit plate, Our cereal, our mug, our cup, a napkin, a spoon, a fork, and a knife. 
Time to fill our drinks up. We're gonna be putting some orange juice in this cup. And some milk in this one. Yum, and let's cover our pancakes with maple syrup. Mmm, the more the merrier. Well, I'm gonna go serve up this breakfast to my friends. I had so much fun making breakfast with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here, and today I'm super excited to bring you another Just Like Home playing kit. This one's the cake designer. Mmm, and it looks like it's chocolate cake. Here's the back of the box. Can't wait to decorate. Let's first get this out. Got it. And we'll take this green thing off. And let's just flip this around. Take everything out of the plastic. This set comes with a bunch of stuff. This is gonna take some time, so we gotta be patient. Phew, now that we got everything out, I can show you each piece. Here's our chocolate cake. It has six slices that attach with Velcro like this. And here's our cake stand. This is what we're gonna use to serve the cake. And here's a knife to cut the cake. For our delicious toppings, we have strawberries, blueberries, decorated flowers, mmm, and some whipped cream. There's four kinds of decorations and six of each. That means we have 24 things to decorate with. That's a lot of toppings. This set also comes with four forks and four plates. All right, let's get started. We'll first put the cake on the stand and I'm gonna decorate mine with strawberries first. We'll put one here, one here, put you right there. Now we'll do the blueberries. Let me know in the comments what your favorite toppings are. And how about some decorative flowers? We'll add a little bit of whipped cream. And some more fruit. Our cake is getting pretty full. Mmm, it looks delicious. I'll cut you guys a slice. Let me set up the plates first. And give each plate a fork. Now I'll use this to serve our cake. Yum, this slice looks good. I'll cut three more. I love chocolate cake. Let me know in the comments what your favorite cake is. Cakes always remind me of birthdays. For any of you that have birthdays today, happy birthday. Here's our last slice. Dig in everyone. This set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. 
Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, awesome Disney toys here, and today we're bringing you another Just Like Home playset. This one's called Shopping Basket. Last time, we got a crate full of vegetables, but I think we'll be finding more than just vegetables in this basket. I'm sure most of you know what Shopkins are. Doesn't this remind you of a big Shopkins basket? Alright, it's time to go check out our items. Take this plastic wrapper off. There's even a plastic cover. Nice! I'm already liking this basket. The first item we see is french fries. You guys like corn? Cause I got three right here. Here are two tomatoes. Yum! We get four potato chips. We get two yummy croissants. For breakfast, we can eat the cereal. I hear the Just Like Home brand is really good. Check out the nutrition facts. Can't wait to try it. We'll need to add some fruit to our diet, so here are some grapes. Yes! We get one large white egg. Oh, actually, we get two large white eggs. We still have to eat healthy, so here are two eggplants. And when we're not eating healthy, we can eat these two chocolate muffins for dessert. Here's some more fruit. These are pears. We get some hamburger buns. I'll need to go and buy some hamburger patties. Oh, get ready for the tear works. Here's an onion. This looks like... Ooh, we get some canned corn. And I believe this is... Ah, it's a can of tuna. Now let's check out these boxes. Here's a box of flour. We could have Italian night and make some pasta. Sweet! We get a box full of cookies. If we need to cool down, we could eat some of these popsicles. And here's something to snack on. It's a box full of pretzels. Okay, let's see if we find some cookies inside this box. What? I got gypped! <laughs> Just kidding. There's actually nothing in all these boxes. So I'll throw some potato chips in this cookie box. Now it feels like we have something. Hmm, you think there's anything in this pasta box? Nope. No worries, we could throw in some french fries. Woo! Now that we saw all the items in the basket, let's do a quick recap. Here's a box of pasta. A box of flour. Here's the box full of cookies. A box of pretzels. A box of popsicles. Here's a cereal box. I'll put that there. My mouth is drooling. Here are two chocolate muffins. 
two tomatoes. Here are the two french fries. Two grapes. Two croissants. Two pears. Three corns. A can of tuna. A can of corn. Two large white eggs. Two eggplants. Two onions. Here are the hamburger buns. Calculator. Oh, check this out! When you swipe your card, the Toys R Us sign lights up. Pretty cool! And at the back of the register, you get this little play mic. Clean up on aisle 3! Clean up on aisle 3! Attention shoppers, we'll be closing in 5 minutes. Here's a barcode scanner. What's really cool about this set is that you get some barcodes to scan. $8.50. Let's try scanning it. $5. Whoa, that's so cool! $3.50. Let's price some of these items. This one's worth a dollar. Put that on the candy. Let's see, for the cake, we'll go with three. For the milk, $2.50. And the cookies will be five dollars. I feel like I'm really at a grocery store. One dollar. Huh? That's weird. The price says two fifty, but the cash register read it as a dollar. One dollar. A dollar again? I guess it gets mixed up sometimes. Well, we know the dollar works. Let's review what we scanned. $5 plus $1 plus $1 plus, $1 plus another dollar equals... Do you guys know the answer? $8. If you said 8, you're correct. Let's do another one. Alright, do you guys know the answer to this one? $17. It's $17! High five if you got it! Well, this was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today I'm bringing you a Just Like Home Microwave. You can actually try it out before even opening it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Looks like we have some chicken in the microwave. I can't wait to microwave other things. It's all done now. The back of the box shows us different sets we can get. I want to collect them all and make a just like home kitchen. Let's start by opening the box. Ooh, 
Look at all these food items we have. Yum, the pizza looks good. And here's our microwave. Let's start by getting these items out. Whoa, that's a lot of burger pieces. Here we have some buns. and a patty, some lettuce, and tomato. Oh, and can't forget the cheese. I love cheese in my burgers. And here's a croissant, perfect for the mornings. Let's see what else we have. And here's that tasty pizza I saw earlier. It looks like combination pizza. And here's a sunny side up egg. It looks perfectly cooked. Ooh, and a hot dog. The bun and the sausage come apart. That's pretty cool. Time to take a closer look at this microwave. Oh, but first we gotta get the chicken out. Mm, this plastic's being a little stubborn. Got it. And here's a chicken. Let's start by cooking the chicken first. Here's a plate I have from a different set. We'll just place it right on top. And then place it in. The microwave has different pictures of different foods. We're gonna be clicking the chicken leg. Wow, look at how fast the time goes down. I just love how the microwave actually spins around. That'll cook the chicken evenly on all sides. Be careful when taking it out, it could be hot. Yikes. Let's do our pizza next. Some people like cold pizza, but I prefer to warm mine up. The microwave has a pizza button. All you do is click that and press start. It's pretty easy. Pizza is one of my favorite foods. If you guys like pizza, give this video a thumbs up. Nice, our pizza's done. It smells pretty good. Let's do our hot dog next. I think only the sausage needs to be warmed up and then we can put it in our bun after. Unfortunately, there's no hot dog button, but we'll just click the popcorn since it's the least amount of time. That looks perfectly cooked to me. We'll just place it in our bun and it's ready to eat. Let's do a croissant next. It's perfect for breakfast time. You can have it with your milk or coffee. I like to put butter or jam on my croissants. Ooh, or put some ham and cheese inside. That'll make for a great sandwich. Yum, my croissant's all done. Time to warm up our buns. <laughs> Whoops, I'm trying to run away. Oh man, it fell again. That's okay. I can't wait to put our burger together.
Careful, the buns could be hot. Oops, that one just really doesn't want to stay on, does it? Here's a pan I have from a different set. This is where we're gonna cook our patty. We'll just give it a little shake. <laughs> can you hear that sizzle? Let's flip it around so we can cook it evenly on both sides. Time to put our cheese down. We wanna put it down first so when the burger lays on top, it'll melt it and be all delicious. Sometimes I like to put eggs in my burger. We'll cook this one over easy. Let's see if I can flip this egg. Ready, go! Yes! That worked out great. How do you guys like your eggs? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> the egg's a little slippery. I love putting veggies on my burger. It's healthy and delicious. Our burger's all done. Here's a mold I have from a previous set. We're gonna be making a drumstick and a steak. I'll be using some of this brown Play-Doh. Let's just grab a little bit of it. We'll make our steak first. This one looks like a T-bone steak. We just fill it in on both sides, just like that. <clears throat> I need a little more. How many of you guys like steak? It's great for dinner and for barbecues. Give this video a thumbs up if you do. We'll also use some of the brown Play-Doh to make our drumstick. And then a little bit of white to make the bone. Mmm, this set is making me hungry. Time to squish it together. Press down as hard as you can, okay? Yum! That looks good. And here's our steak. Let's get our drumstick out. We'll just peel off the edges. Mmm, this one looks perfect. A purple onion. Don't be deceived by its color. It'll still make you cry. Yep, here comes the tears. We'll put that aside for now. Now we'll put in red Play-Doh. Do you guys have any guesses as what it's gonna turn into? A tomato! Tomatoes are full of antioxidants. That'll help prevent you from getting sick. So I guess you could say, a tomato a day keeps the doctor away. Now let's put in some green Play-Doh. Ooh, broccoli! Broccoli is full of vitamins. It has vitamin A, C and K. That's a lot of vitamins. Now we'll put in some light brown Play Doh. Hmm, I wonder what kind of 
vegetable is light brown. Of course, a potato. Not many people know this, but potatoes are actually a great source of vitamin C. Yeah, like what's in an orange? Now we'll put in some purple Play-Doh. Oh, it looks like an eggplant. Eggplants are a great source of fiber. Yep, I'm talking about the same fiber you find in your cereal. for some orange Play-Doh. Oh, a carrot! Carrots are a great source of vitamin A. And vitamin A is what helps your eyesight. Bugs Bunny must have had great vision. Let's put in some more green Play-Doh. There's a lot of vegetables that are green, so this could be anything. It looks like a cucumber. Did you know that cucumbers are 95% water? So eating cucumbers would keep you really hydrated. Now we'll do some yellow Play-Doh. Hmm, a yellow vegetable. What could it be? Of course, corn. Corn's not only good for you, but it makes one of your favorite movie theater snacks. Popcorn. Now we'll put in some orange Play-Doh. Oh, another onion! Bring on the waterworks! Yep, it's starting to burn already! Whew. Let's keep it together, everyone! Well, this set was so much fun! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here. And today, I'm super excited to bring you another Just Like Home playing kit. This one's a pizza chef. I just love pizza. It's one of my favorite foods. I can't wait to put all these toppings on. The back of the box shows us other sets we can play with. Oh, that cake looks good. And we'll be making one of those pizzas. I hope ours looks just as good. I can't wait to get my hands on everything. This set comes with a lot of stuff. Let's see if we can pop everything out. Little difficult. Got it. Whoops. This is getting a little messy. Let's 
start first by taking all the toppings off so we can have a nice clean pizza to work with. I can't believe how many toppings this comes with. So here's a closer look at a slice of pizza. It has some felt at the top so the velcro sticks. And it has velcro on the sides to stick to each other. <laughs> the felt is really soft actually. Nice, now we have a whole pizza. And this is what we're going to use to put the pizza in the oven. Yum, here we have a mushroom. It has some Velcro on the other side to stick to the pizza. We don't want our toppings falling off, do we? And here's some olives. And broccoli. Broccoli is really good for you. Yum, and some pepperoni. I love my pizza with lots of pepperoni. If you guys do too, give this video a thumbs up. This is what we're going to use to serve the pizza. Ooh, and a pizza cutter. Cool, it spins. Nice, this set also comes with crushed peppers and parmesan. Okay guys, now that we got our toppings organized, we can see that each topping comes with six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That's a lot of toppings. Let's start with my favorite topping first. Pepperoni! Since we have six slices, we'll put one on each slice. If it was up to me, I'd put a lot more. I also like mushrooms on my pizza. We'll do half mushroom. Some people might not like it. And on the other half, We'll do broccoli. I've actually never had broccoli on my pizza, but I'm always down to try something new. Time for the olives. We'll put olives on half the pizza. I know some people don't really like it, but don't knock it till you try it. Hmm, let's put more mushrooms on this side. There you go. Okay, now that we've done all of our toppings, time to put it in the oven. I can't wait for our pizza to get done. We'll take it out when the crust is all golden and crispy and the cheese is all melty. I'm starting to smell the pizza. Yum, here's our finished pizza. It looks great. Let's see if it tastes great. I'll cut you guys a slice. Let me know in the comments which half you prefer. Mmm, here's our pepperoni and mushroom pizza. Alright, for all of you who wanted the other half, this one's for you. Yummy! Here's our pepperoni, broccoli, and olive pizza. I like crushed peppers on my pizza. It's a little spicy, but delicious. Let me know if you guys like it spicy. And we'll add some Parmesan just for fun. Can't have enough cheese on a pizza. And here's our finished pizza. This set was so much fun, and I'm really craving pizza now. I think I'm gonna go get some. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Just Like Home, Talking Cash Register. Hello, welcome my friend. As you can see, when you press the buttons, the cash register talks to you.
And as a bonus, we get a working calculator. These are all the items we get with the set. If we look right here, these are the items we could purchase. The first one looked like a candy box. Looks like we could bake some cake, buy some milk, and cookies. And we can use this key to actually open and lock the cash register. So I'll do that. Ah! Here's our play money. Let's see how much we get. Here's all of our cash. We get some ones, fives, tens, and twenties. All of our coins. And of course, we can't forget the credit card. So when your register is unlocked, just press this button to open it up. Now let's play with the calculator. Hello, welcome my friend. Five plus three equals eight. Clear. Now let's do 74 minus Oh, 15 $59. equals 59 Clear. 10 times, times 4 $40. equals 40 Clear. and one more 10 divided, divided by 2 $5. equals 5 let's take a look at the credit card machine Mmm, when you press the buttons it makes sounds, but it doesn't.